How many of you out there are looking for a great little small hip exercise to stabilize those loose hips? We've got one coming up. All right, so let's talk a little bit about a little anatomy here and use our little model with this hip stabilizing exercise. What we want to do here is you're, what you're really ro working on is these small rotators. These ones that keep that ball and socket in. Now sometimes they get loose, they get weak, and they slide in and out or slosh in and out and then create a little clicking. Those are the things that a lot of patients complain about here. So what we want to do is tighten those up, but we're not tightening the glutes, which are out here. But what we're trying to do is work these little muscles. So this is great. We're working little ranges and we've got this great exercise to show you next. All right, this is how to set up this hip stabilizing exercise. What we want to do, tie a little band. Hopefully you got one of these elastic bands. If you don't, you don't have to use necessarily a band. You can just do it in the air. But what we're going to do is just, for me to set up, set up with a pillow underneath your belly. And what we do is I'm going to get down here and put this across here. Put it around your ankles or your, your shins, middle shins works. All right, I'm gonna get on my stomach now. And I'm just gonna kinda lay flat. What we're trying to do is create tension. And this is hip internal rotation, but what this is a two for one exercise in a sense because what we're doing is we're strengthening one side and we're, uh, you know, we're working on the other side dynamically. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it first. If you're shaking, you're gonna hold it in place. And then when you're holding in place, after the shakiness stops, you can start moving little by little. And if you put your hand right here, you can see that my glutes aren't working, but something deeper is working. And it's very small muscles. You shouldn't be using your hamstrings, shouldn't be using your quads. It should just be coming from something deeper than where my hand is. And that's how you get that workout there to really stabilize that hip. Now it's interesting because as I do the right, I'm actually feeling it quite a little bit more unstable. So it's shaking a little bit more and I can't go out as far. So this is actually something I need to catch up on. And so just little by little, we want to free that up. And there we go. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. So give that a shot. Wasn't that a great hip butt burning exercise. It really stabilizes those hips and keeps it in the socket. Or if it's outside the socket just a little bit, it might be able to pull it back in. So give that a shot. Make sure this is the right exercise for you and check with your healthcare professional. I'm Dr. Justin Lin. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe below, leave a like, leave any comments that you like and we try to get back to it. Remember, we can and we will get better together. Thank you.